So you want to start a podcast or you already have one, but the problem is that the traditional way of making a podcast is completely broken. You need to spend hours upon hours on basic editing and complex editing softwares. You need to develop a bunch of technical skills, which you don't have the time for. You need a bunch of different tools just to work on the audio quality and cutting all the pieces together. And it's a very tedious and manual process. The truth is that most people want to start a podcast, quit before they would even start because of this. You don't have the time to find all of these different clips from these long podcast episodes, sync up the audio manually, cut out silences and filler words, but you also don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on every single episode to get it edited by a professional. Well, the good news for you is that nowadays, all of these problems can be solved very easily with a very powerful and amazing AI podcasting tool called Riverside. Riverside is a tool where you can set up your own digital podcasting studio, whether you are recording a solo episode or you are doing it online with someone else, you can record everything if you want within Riverside in one place, you can connect your professional microphone, your camera and everything to it. And it's going to record your episode, whether you are again doing it solo or with someone else across the globe in the highest quality possible, save everything for you instantly in the cloud. I can tell you that the quality is going to be way better, both in terms of audio and video as well, compared to Google Meets or Zoom and just make the entire process very streamlined, smooth and effortless. So I'm just going to show you a couple of amazing features that they have available for you here so I can demonstrate to you how powerful this process is. So first you go about setting up your studio properly, right? You connect your camera and everything to it, or you can record internally as well with your laptop. And then after that, you do your recording just like you normally would in any other, you know, process. And then after that, you can go into the Riverside editing studio. And this is where this platform really shines. You never need to leave the software you can just stay within this one platform. And also you don't need to do 99% of the things manually, you can just harness the power that AI has, and basically save up a bunch of your time. So for example, let's say you recorded your podcast with not super professional recording equipment, maybe you recorded it with an internal microphone, well, you could just use AI to use the audio enhancement feature, and then it's going to automatically analyze the entire episode, if you have multiple speakers, you can turn this on only for one of the speakers as well, because you get both audio tracks separately too. And then basically it's going to upgrade your audio using AI. And it's going to sound like you recorded it with a studio quality mic. You can also just press one button and remove all of the silences from your episode, right? So if you have a bunch of parts where nobody was speaking for three seconds, five seconds, whatever it is, you can click one button, remove all of the silences, this would normally take you probably hours to do manually. You can even select what you want the range to be from which the silence is cut from. And again, the AI does everything for you in one click. Now, if you use a lot of filler words in your recording, you can also get rid of all of the filler words with just a single click and save your viewers precious time. This is going to result in you having a much higher watch percentage on your videos and the algorithm pushing out your episodes to even more people. You can also remove things like repetitions or any fluff where you are going on a tangent, because you can just again, tell the AI to remove it, you just click a button. And then after that, it analyzes your entire video because Riverside automatically transcribes the entire file that it created. And then it finds any fluff using the AI technology. And you can choose which parts you want to remove and which parts you want to keep. Again, really, you can focus on just making your podcast as concise as humanly possible to make sure your viewers get the most value in the least amount of time. Another feature that is super useful, especially for podcasts is the auto mute. So if you're recording with two or more speakers, then what you can do is automatically mute the track of the other person who is not talking in that section. So that way, if there's any little bit of background noise coming from them, it's not going to show up in the final result. And these are just a couple of the smart features that Riverside has, which make it probably the best platform out there for recording remote interviews and recording podcasts and then 
processing that using AI technology to be able to make it in record time. And the result of all of this is that you can edit a 40 minute or a 60 minute podcast episode in just about five minutes and get it ready for publishing on platforms. Of course, you can also add background music to it. You can also add B-rolls or you can even generate a B-roll. They also have things like these smart layouts. So even when you are recording the podcast, you can already prepare some material that you want to show on screen sharing. And instead of you having to do that in the editing process, you can just do it as you are actually recording the video, again, saving you a bunch of time in post-production. After that, what you can also do is use their feature called Magic Clips, which is going to automatically find some of the most engaging and viral worthy moments in your entire episode and make short form clips from it, right? So you don't even necessarily need to hire a short form editor to do this for you. You can just tell the AI to find engaging moments and it's going to automatically export those in a separate file, right? With captions and you can even add B-rolls to it, your own music and customize it just as you want. Now, another thing that is absolutely a lifesaver for anybody who wants to make a podcast is that once you have your entire episode, right, the whole thing is transcribed. So from there, you can create an episode summary that you can just paste in the description of your episode super easily with the click of a button. You can even create timestamps which are clickable so your viewers will find it a lot easier to navigate through the whole thing. You can also generate YouTube descriptions with it, thumbnails, or if you want to have an even bigger reach, then you you can even make, for example, an X thread from the episode that you can post on uh, X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, and then link back to your episode. So the cool thing here is that, again, you are just creating one core piece of content. You're editing that super efficiently and quickly. And then from that, you know, maybe you post that to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, the long form episode. And from that, you can make a bunch of little pieces of content that you can distribute across all platforms and get way higher reach. So it's great because instead of fighting with the editing software interface, it feels more like just talking over the chat with an actual editor, instructing them on what you want and it doing it automatically. And the best part is, you know, that the AI never goes on vacations and it always delivers on time. And the thing with this is that it really democratizes content creation as a whole, right? Maybe you've been wanting to start that podcast for a really long time, but you just don't have the technical skills or you don't have the budget to hire a full on, you know, editor for it and social media manager or whatever it is. So with tools like this, you can really make this a whole lot easier. And that barrier to entry to content creation is basically eliminated at this point. So it really comes down to who has the best things to say and who has the most value to add to the audience. So in my opinion, for example, Riverside is not going to replace the pros, but it's going to enhance the creatives and just your everyday person who wants to get into content creation. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found this overview insightful. Let me know what you guys think about this tool in the comment section down below. And if you want to try out Riverside for yourself to see how much time you can actually save with it, then click the first link in the description down below and use the code Vince at checkout so you can get an entire month for free. So you can play around with it, try it out and see if you want to keep using it long term. I can almost guarantee you that, you know, once you see how much time this can save you, you will probably want to continue on. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.